let us discuss some more operations on this tree data structure. So, this is the sample tree data structure. We shall have to define the following more with our tree database. So, here we shall define one operator that is a binary operator with this value 500 and the operator name is is underscore parent. We shall go for the declaration of the leaf node predicate which will take node as input argument to calculate the height of a node that is what is the height of the node that is longest path to a leaf under the node using built in prolog predicate set off which will take this template goal and set binds set to the list of all instances of template satisfying the goal goal. So, on this particular set of that is the inbuilt predicate very important inbuilt predicate in prolog that is a set of which will bind all the possible results and that will give us one list as output. So, we are having a separate video on this setup you can watch that one for the better understanding how we have used this setup in our respective code and also we shall define other predicates like your height, ht and max for the implementation. So, here is the demonstration for you in which we shall discuss the respective logic embedded in our prolog code and also we shall show you the outputs during execution of that code. So, here is the demonstration for you. This is the tree given to us. Against this particular tree, we have made our tree database ready. So, each parent is user defined operator. So, using each parent, we have defined this tree database. So, here from the diagram, we can see that A is the parent of B, A is the parent of C, A is the parent of D. So, accordingly, we have written A is parent B, A is parent C, A is parent D and so on. Now, what is a leaf node? Leaf node is that node which is not having any kind of child. So, we are defining this leaf node clause. So, leaf node, node is a variable, not is parent, node, child. That means this node cannot have any child then that node will be called as a leaf node. So now in this case we are trying to find out the height of a node that is the height of a node means we are mentioning length of the longest path to a leaf under the node we are going to define that one. That means if you consider C then C is having uh, this node G with the path length 1 with this node U and V with the path length 3 each and with this leaf nodes O and P with a path length of 2 each. In this case, if we, if we uh, apply this C here to get the height, I shall be getting the maximum path length. So, here it will be 3. So, here we have used this set of. So, what is a set of? Set of is nothing but it is a built in prolog predicate. The basic syntax of this set of is that is plus template plus goal and this minus set means bind set to the list of all instances of template satisfying the goal goal so in this way we are defining this set of if the things are not clear to you we shall explain each and everything in our execution so here we have loaded and compiled our program that is tree 3 and this is the listing of the code we are having now okay so this is the listing so now we are going to apply height so here it is ht ch c is the node and h is the respective output argument so that is a variable okay so now you see for g the length is 1 as i told you earlier for u and v the length is here 3 each and for o and b the length is 2 each so i got the output as 1 3 3 2 2 but i am interested to get the maximum of them so i want to get 3 out of them so let me explain this one. So node, the node is a variable whose height will be ht will be 0 if that is a leaf node and cut is there. So that means when it will get satisfied then this uh, ht will not get revalued again. So ht node h. So ht node h in this case the node is a variable and h is also a variable. So in that case node is parent of child node is parent of child so child is the child is the child of this node and we shall calculate the height of this child so that is ht of child if it is h1 then this h will become 
h1 plus 1 so in this way we are going to get that means if, that means if this h is having the height 2 then c will have the height 2 plus 1 that is 3 so that thing has been used here so now we are getting this output like this so that is 1 3 3 2 2 why these outputs are coming we have explained that one so now before going to discuss this height not ht here it is height we were prior to do this one let me discuss this max so this max had you see we are passing one list here we are passing one variable and it is the output variable so when this max of the elements within the list if the list is void then if it is another value then the max will be the value itself otherwise if the list is having this one as head and r as the tail and if we compare this one with m then a will be the output so if x is greater than m that means this header is greater than this m that means the maximum data out of this list and m cannot be m in that case because x is already greater than m then in that case we shall go for calculation of the maximum element in the tail part of the list and x so in this way we shall calculate so here the semicolon denotes or comma denotes and and semicolon denotes or in case of prolog clauses so otherwise if x is not greater than m that means x is less than m then x cannot participate in the max calculation so i shall be doing the calculation with this r and m to get the final value a and which is the final output variable here so let us let us do some experiments on them let us execute some query against these clauses for to have the clear idea so max 153410 so here you see this 15342 and 10 if you consider them here the maximum data is 10 so that's why 10 we are getting but if we put 40 here and the outside variable here is 10 the outside value here is 10 then you shall be getting 40 that means max calculates the maximum element between this list and this value provided so here we are getting max is equal to 10 but here we are getting max is equal to this 40 so this 40 is coming out as output so this max has got defined so now in this output we are getting this 1 3 3 2 2 so if we apply this max on them then i shall be getting 3 as output so now for this purpose we are going to discuss this set of so set of means here you see it will create different outputs against our goal so this is the this is the goal which we provided and here we are having this set of outputs so combining all those outputs where the goal is getting satisfied it is producing a set set variable here so it's producing a set which is being kept in the set variable here and here we are we are just applying this max making this set as a first argument and zero is the second argument and the ultimate maximum we will be getting that means if we have in this set we are going to have one two and three and it is getting compared with zero so ultimately h is going to get 3 as output and that is the final height from the node n so let me trace it uh, and do the ex executions so now see we have defined how this max is operating so we have explained this one so you see here we are getting this 1 3 3 2 2 okay now see so here if we apply this one so h htch set so ultimately i'm going to get this one that is one two three as i told you earlier so this this clause will put the set will get initialized with one two three as i have shown to you so now if i calculate max of one two three and zero so if we apply this one max of one two three and zero then i'm supposed to get three as output so now let me apply let me uh, write one query based on this clause height so if you go for this c so from c i'm going to calculate the maximum path length to the leaf node under its successors in that case h will be the output variable in that case i'm going to get h is equal to 3 accordingly in this way the program has been tested thoroughly and i have shown you that how to use this prolog predicate inbuilt predicate that is our uh, set of and how this op, uh, set of variables residing within this set of uh, predicate is working with the proper tracing with the proper example and query execution thanks for watching this video